Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Brown Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see? This is a board game based off a famous book series of really where you're just playing at memory and you're putting those down at the end. You will read the book, per se, and you'll be able to look through that. It's okay. If you're looking for a memory variant and you're a fan of this book, this is definitely something you might want to try out. This works with maybe homeschooling. Have you read the book? Now let's play the game. That kind of aspect with your kids. And there is some reading involved in it. You can kind of practice those words with them. And I think it kind of works as an educational game. And I don't think they're trying to hide that whatsoever. As a game itself, yeah, it's another memory type game. If you're looking for that, then this can fit the bill, especially if you're a fan of the book series. Brown Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see game? It's a play and learn system, more of an educational game, if you will. You open it up, you're going to get a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. Then you're going to get some uh, generic tiles, I guess, with different colors on them. And then you'll have the animals, uh, Red Wolf or or Black Sheep and Bald Eagle. And, and these, these are like color art, I guess, Purple Cat. Etc. And you'll have these. Oh, here's the famous panda bear. And then you're going to have a board. The box is a little bigger than it needs to be, I suppose. And let's fold this out and see what it looks like. And it, you can see it kind of has that watercolor look, right? As you can see here. And you have the four sides that people can sit on. Let's zoom out just a tad here. And you can see the board kind of set up. So very nice. Uh, if you like this kind of watercolor look, then it'll be more appealing to you. Kids do like it quite a bit. Here's the rule book. You can see it's presented with some color on the inside. You have pictures of the pieces. The components don't have a list over here. You have the object of the game and set up right there. And playing the game is very easy with winning it there. Just some advertisements if you want some other games by them on the back. Otherwise, you probably need five to ten minutes to read through this and you'll be up and running in no time. The first thing you do is take the four bears, there's two pandas and two brown bears. You will shuffle them up and hand them out to the player. So if you're the panda bear, you sit there, other panda bears sit there, and the two brown bears sit there. Then you'll set these aside, you'll mix up the other tokens and or tiles and you just kind of lay all of these out here in the middle of the board. Shuffle them up so nobody knows where anything is and you're ready to go. On your turn, it's very easy, it's just a memory game, so let's say I'm going as this person. Then you would just flip this over. If it's an animal that you need, you would put it down. Giant sea turtle. And then you would flip, and the next person would go around the table, comes back to you. White dog, white dog is not one that I need. So you put it back in the location that it's in. The next person would go. They would say, uh, red wolf. Does this person need a red wolf? No. So it would go back down. And you kind of remember that. So when it comes on your turn, you would go, oh, I remember where that red wolf is at. It's right here. I got it. And you have a red wolf. And that's kind of how you do. So when the game is done and you filled all this up, you were the winner. And you would say, Panda Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle. Panda Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see? I see a red wolf. And you just kind of read that back. And everybody can do that. So that's how you play. It's a very simple memory game and incorporates from the book into the game. Who should buy this game? Uh, littlest of gamers. So, and really, I'd say even more niche. It's going to be if you're a fan of the book series. If you're a fan of the book series, I think this works for you. Anybody else, I think you can find a memory game anywhere that will fit your niche. This isn't going to cut it for me. It is what it is. Uh, I think we're going to purge this one. It's not a family book that we loved or anything. So, I think this one can go.